Sometimes when you're using the Agilent or HP or Keysight function generators that you find in the labs at BU, you notice there's a discrepancy between the output voltage that the meter is reading and what you actually measure on an oscilloscope. So we're outputting a square wave. This is a picoscope right here, and you can see our low is at zero. Our high for a square wave is at two. Now, therefore, that's a two volt peak to peak signal. Go back over to the function generator, and it's only showing one volt peak to peak. And so what's happening is there's a setting inside this instrument that you can get to to change that even though this is outputting two volts peak to peak, it says it's only outputting one volt peak to peak. And the answer is this. So the output of the function generator actually looks like a Thevenin equivalent circuit with an equivalent resistance of 50 ohms. It says that right down here on the jack. So in other words, there's a 50 ohm resistor in series with the generator. And we're, we're connecting back to the generator right now. Now, if your load, if this wire was actually connected to a 50 ohm load, because we have 50 ohms of Thevenin, and if we have a 50 ohm load, then the voltage is gonna be one half. And that's what the meter is inferring right here. It's assuming that, you know, our wire, whatever it is, our load is actually a 50 ohm load. And there's a reason for that we're not going to get into. Therefore, the meter is saying that it's actually one volt peak to peak on the output because we're dividing the voltage by two. But on our picoscope, we're seeing two volts. So the, uh, the way to fix that or remedy that is you can go into the menu by hitting the shift on this type then the enter. Then you hit the right arrow until you get to the system menu, and then you hit the down arrow, down arrow until you get to the parameter, and you'll see right there it says 50 ohm. That's where it's making that assumption that we have a 50 ohm load across here, which we clearly don't. In fact, we have a 1 mega ohm load. So I could switch this from 50 to high Z, or high impedance, or high resistance, and now when I hit enter, we'll see on our screen, you know, the meter miraculously changed to 2 volts, and now that matches with what we're seeing on our picoscope over here. So if you're seeing that discrepancy, you have to go through that. So if you just want to make a measurement and you're not too worried about this, trust your picoscope. You know, that's assuming that your, uh, your probes are set on, on 1x or 10x to the proper probe settings.